So Mark, one of the, the, the final processes is not to mess up uh, the great fruit that you bring in from Tokelon. Uh, you make three different styles of Cabernet here at Mondavi. Maybe we can walk everybody through just what's going on. Yes, yeah, so the three Cabernets we make are our Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, our Oakville District Cabernet Sauvignon, and then the Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon, which is Mr. Mandavi's vision of wines in the company of the great wines mm -hmm. of the world. Maybe certain blocks or younger vines are, are in the Napa Cabernet, is that how it's, how it's uh, selected? Yes, so younger blocks and maybe the blocks lower down the alluvial fan with slightly heavier soils, yeah. more clay, they're more likely to be the blocks that go into the Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. And the Oakville District wine is another selection in a, in a slightly more intense style, I would guess. So the Oakville District Cabernet Sauvignon is a step up in quality from the Napa Cabernet Sauvignon, but it's also a, reflecting a different character. We're trying to capture the character of this particular part of Napa, Oakville in the heart of Napa Valley, which I would sum up as a big black berry fruit character and broad feeling tannins that I feel around the side of my mouth. Yeah. And this 2013 uh, reserve for me, having had so many reserve vintages of Mondavi, I, I feel like it's stayed the course, but it's even more refined over the years. I mean, this is a great glass of wine. The reserve typically will come from the best soils, the most free-draining gravel blocks, typically towards the back of Tokelon, and that's where we get the most purity and elegance. And so when we move to the reserve Cabernet Sauvignon, it's about being more beautiful, more complex, definitely more power, but more focused. And especially in the 13, you get this wonderful structure, full tannins, but the oak fermentation tanks and a few years of age really help give them a gentleness and a roundness. And I feel like Robert's influence and his vision has been carried on now by Jean Viev. When you taste these wines and you, you taste the finesse and the elegance of the wines, mm -hmm. it pretty much stays the course. Absolutely. And we want to make wines that are more beautiful. We definitely don't want to chase the big fruit bomb style, but we want intensity, power, complexity. And to me, the essence of Mr. Mandavi's vision of what fine wine is, is wines that will grab your attention, draw you in, leave you wanting another sip. Every sip reveals new layers of flavor. It evolves across the palate and holds your interest to the bottom of the glass and glass after glass. Here's the Tokelon. Here's the Tokelon.